Hey, this is a video just to show you I've filled um, my rear inner tube with silicon corking. So I just compared, this is a semi, well, reasonably well inflated, usual pneumatic. This one's silicon filled. I suppose it's pretty hard to tell from this, but it's got a little bit of give in it. Um, filled, I think it's a 26 racer rim with um, the inner, just an old punctured inner tube with three tubes worth of corking. And I've given it about a week to dry because I don't think it sets as well without the oxygen. Um, can't even see anything there. But I don't know. You can sort of hear at least that it's a little bit bumpy because the uncorking is not evenly spaced throughout the tube. So that might improve with practice. But basically, it's giving me a pretty decent ride. It's um, having just ridden on my rims for about a week. <laughs> Feels pretty good actually. But I think it's for anything you're commuting on if you don't care too much. Um, I think it's not a bad way to avoid flats entirely. Um, and to be honest, it feels quite smooth. Um, not really many good bumps around here without going through the bush. But I've been over one or two. It seems to be doing all right. Anyway, that's about it. Um, I might try next time putting the inner tube in first and then put the corking in once the inner tube's already inserted because it's actually quite hard to fill or to get the inner tube once it's filled with the corking into the um, into the rim and then get the tie fitter over that. So I might actually try to fill it all when it's actually on the rim already. Anyway, 